Right, just had a uh, few requests just to um, ask uh, for the settings for the Align 550 through the Castle Talon 90 ESC. So here's a quick video. One user manual, so just a bit more in depth about your settings in the ESC. Um, but also in this manual, there are the actual default settings from Align. So my speed controller came ready to go. But um, I did change a few things, not a lot. Um, the only thing I really changed was it's now in governor mode, but we'll come back to that in a minute. So, quick run through. You also need the uh, Castle Link uh, to connect this to a computer via USB. Uh, it only works with Windows, doesn't work on Mac, so do make sure you've got a Windows PC running. Um, right, let's go through the settings then. So, your vehicle type should be set to helicopter. Your throttle type is fixed endpoints unless you use governor mode. Uh, throttle response needs to be changed to 5 which is medium. Initial spool up rate 5 medium. Your head speed change rate is 8 which is high. Your low voltage cutoff type you want to put on a soft cut off. Um, you can have a hard cut but that's more for aeroplanes uh, so not a good idea with a helicopter. Your PWM rate needs to be 12. And then nearly there, auto lipo volt cells at 3.2 volts, and then your cutoff voltage auto lipo, and then the final one, if you're using the internal back, uh, your voltage is at 6 volts. Um, I'm running everything through the Talon, so it's running off its internal back. Um, you've also got some more default settings here, which are factory or all the um, bold text, so yeah, voltage. For your cutoff is 3.2 cells per volt, and the brake is disabled. You need to make sure that is set for helicopter. Um, your cutoff, so when you get to low voltage, what happens is set to soft, and then your PWM rate is at 12. Uh, if you haven't done this before and you've never used a Castle ESC, most of them you need to actually set your endpoints in your controller. So if you haven't done that before, which I hadn't. Um, the first thing you notice is when you actually turn the controller on it won't arm uh, so when you do connect your flight battery if you're using a 6 cell with let's say a 550 you should hear 6 beeps if you hear anything different then you need to just stop and check your settings um, but you must set your endpoints and the way to do that um, there are videos on YouTube and other places to find out if I'll just run through it very quickly. Um, before you do anything to the helicopter, you need to just remove the main blades, just for safety. Um, if you're confident enough you don't need to do that, then just pull your pinion back from the main gear. But obviously if you set the space for the pinion, you're going to have to reset it all. So if you just remove the main blades, give yourself a bit of space, and then go back to your transmitter. So. I'll just quickly show you, DX8, stick down before you turn anything on. All your knobs and switches at neutral apart from the throttle and obviously the correct model. Uh, what you actually need to do is, if you go to your servo setup, you're actually changing the travel. Now, I never did this before, but the uh, castle, you need to set an endpoint. So they would normally say 100 and 100. What you need to do is for both, it's just wind them down to around 50 or 60 so just going to show that was set to 113 so that's at 50 before you even connect your flight battery just set your stick to mid stick connect your flight battery it should go through the beeps for your cell count and then you shouldn't hear anything else if you do hear anything else it's armed so you just need to make sure that it's definitely a mid stick and then if you first push your stick all the way to the top and then depending on the side obviously for the top if you just slowly wind out the travel on the throttle uh, once you get to around 80 or 90 just slow down and just turn one at a time eventually you will get to a point where on well, my one was there you'll hear a beep on the speed controller when you hear that just roll it forward two more and then repeat the process coming down 
Uh, obviously go over to the other side and then repeat the process starting from around 50 or 60 and slowly wind up to 80 or 90 and then slow down do one at a time as you can see with mine I don't know if it's supposed to be like that but it seems to be okay um, as soon as you hear the beep on the controller then just stop and then add two more clicks to it and that should be it if you disconnect your flight battery and then reconnect it you should then um, hear your cell count and it should make a trilly little noise and it's all armed and ready to go um, and that should be it if you've got any um, other queries or questions I'll just quickly hold that there again so if you want to pause it you can do um, not had a chance to test the governor yet which is uh, the fixed endpoints you can set that to governor mode so I've only just done that now but I've not had a chance to test it but as soon as I've done that I'll uh, Say to you another video.